me before. Today our practice is all about internal cleansing. So loads of twists, loads of um, rotations through the midline of the body and it's going to be good. We are going to start down on our knees in a wide comfortable child's pose. So bring big toes together, hips to heels and we're just going to stretch the arms out nice and long. Nodding the forehead down towards the mat, so we're resting here. Safe and secure in this neutral resting pose. Just beginning to tune our awareness in with our breath. Letting go of the morning, letting go of what happened yesterday, what may happen tomorrow. And just enjoying these moments of connecting in with what's happening in the here and now. So as our focus today is revolved around detoxing and cleansing internally, for that reason we need to deepen and direct the breath deep into the belly. Start waking up the diaphragm, stimulating internal organs. Just notice how naturally when you begin to deepen the breath, all else seems to dissolve away from the mind. And now just beginning to activate the body, we are going to bring our weight up onto our hands, coming into kneeling, taking thread the needle just to prepare our body for twists, inhale, send the right arm high, gaze at the fingertips, and then as you exhale, thread right hand underneath the left arm, leaving the hips high, resting the head down on the floor. Left hand can stay supporting you on the floor, or you can take the hand, thread it round the small of the waist. Maybe you'd just like to drape that left arm, opening through that left shut side of the shoulder. There we go, words. <laughs> take a deep breath here into your side body, and let it all go. One more deep breath in, and out. Bringing that left hand by the shoulder and arm curling the body, you come back through to kneeling. This time you lift through left arm. Inhale, gaze at fingertips, stretch high, and then as we exhale, thread underneath the right arm, sliding that arm across the floor. So we have a tendency to want to hold the neck in the air in this pose, but really allow it to rest down. Maybe you're resting on the forehead, maybe on the temple. Ultimately, we are eventually looking to send the gaze upwards. Right hand can either thread around the small of the back, you can keep it on the floor, or you can drape that arm over, really opening up through the right hand side of the chest. In twists, it's really natural to feel almost as if you can't breathe with your full lung capacity. So we're going to work against that and try and deepen into the breath. Two breathings here. Inhale. Exhale. 
One more time, deep breath in, slowing your breathing down. Bringing that right hand by the shoulder, uncurling the body, we come back through to tabletop. Now that you to extend your right leg long. So extending out through the heel, we're going to engage our Rudyanda Bandha, which are our abdominal muscles, our abdominal lock. So take a deep breath in here, and then as you exhale, squeeze into the belly and take right knee to left elbow. We twist. Inhale, send that leg long, lengthen. And then as we exhale, we twist across. Let's take that two more times. Deep breath in, lengthen. Exhale, we twist. Applying Ujjayi ocean, ocean breath. If you know how, restricting the breath in the back of the throat as we exhale. Last inhale, send that leg long, and then exhale, place the knee down. Same thing on your other leg. Inhale, send your left leg long. And then as you exhale, we twist, pull the belly in. Three more times, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, we twist. Let's take two more, deepen the inhale and empty the exhale. Last inhale, send that leg long, and then as we exhale, place the knee down. Coming up onto your knees for me now, we're gonna take a few more twists in kneeling. So just take the arms up on the inhale, and as we exhale, twist round to one side, gazing at back shoulder. And then as you inhale, release the arms, send them wide, exhale, twist other way. This time, inhale, send the arms wide, interlace the hands, send them up and long, hips stay facing forward, but as we exhale, we twist from the rib cage upwards. Gaze down, have your hips gone with you. Make sure they have not Inhale, send long, as we exhale, twist to the other side, hips stay facing forwards. Release, coming back through to centre. Arms come down. We're coming into our downward facing dog. So toes are tucking under. And then we're extending up and back through the legs. Begin to pad one heel and then the other heel into the floor. Hands and feet are shoulder width apart. Really padding through the feet. Take a moment to arrive in the pose. And then find some stillness by grounding the feet, earth and down into the floor. We have just had our new moon in Gemini arrive over the past few days, which is all around the element of air. So really trying to embrace the abundance of air that we have around us right now. Your breath should be audible. And then slowly beginning to walk your feet forward. We're going to come into a standing forward fold. Bringing the toes together at the front of the mat. Hands may rest on the floor, shins or thighs. And then as a finishing touch, we'll take a tuck to the chin. Standing here in your forward fold, really allowing the crown of the head to drop down to the ground. And then nice and slowly, starting to uncurl the body, we're slowly coming up to standing, taking our time, resetting vertebra by vertebra when we reach the top, take a few large circles of the shoulders, opening up the back. Moving into our sun salutations, take a deep breath in and send the arms high. And then as we exhale, bring your hands through to heart centre, so I'm asleep to you. Inhale, feel your lungs reaching up, gaze at thumbs, exhale, forward fold, bending at the waist of the hips. We come into our standing forward fold. 
Inhale, send your chest and spine long, half lift. As you exhale, hands come down. We step one foot and the other foot back. Find high plank. Three deep breathings here. Find some space in the belly as you inhale. Find your contraction as you exhale. Udhyanda Bandha, abdominals, Mula Bandha, pelvic floor, drawing in and up, strengthening. Last breath here. As you exhale, knees come down, elbows stay tucked, chest and chin come down. Inhale, lift forward, come to baby cobra. So just a slight back bend for the morning, just to begin with. See if you can lift the hands away, working through the strength in the upper back. Take a deep breath in here, and as we exhale, toes tuck, hips lift, down dog. We'll hold here for three more breaths. Really arrive in the pose. Know that if you would like to take child's pose, you can rest in child's pose at any time. Take a deep breath in, begin to step your feet to your hands, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up and overhead, lengthen high, exhale, heart center. Let's take two more like that, inhale, lengthen, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, half lift, fluid with breath, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, step or jump, high plank. As you exhale, pitch the weight forwards, knees, chest and chin, or full chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, open the heart. Exhale, down dog. This time, inhaling to prepare to step or jump. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach your arms up and overhead, be lengthen tall, grow taller. Exhale, heart center. Last time, inhale. Exhale, forward fold, releasing over the legs. Inhale, half lift, long spine, pushing your chest forward, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, jumping back, high plank. We pitch the weight forward and on the exhale, we lower, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Are you ready for your first flow? <laughs> so holding here for three deep breaths before we begin, remember you always have child's pose to come to if you need that break. That's always there for you. I'm not always going to say it because it's personal as to when you bring it into your practice. Find the purpose of the exhale. So on your next in-breath, we're going to send the right foot in between the hands and we're bringing the back foot in a few inches into our tripod stance in pyramid. So back foot is facing the front corner of the mat and front foot is facing forwards. So here you might be a little bit higher and that's fine. So coming into revolved triangle to start with, we're going to layer our sequence as we've done previous weeks. So choice to stay here, choice to take left hand to the outside of the right foot and we're going to circle that arm up and overhead. Can you gaze at fingertips? Exhale, circle the hand back down and as you inhale, reach up, lengthen. Let's take one more, exhale, coming down. Inhale, reach up, holding here, three deep breaths. Inhale and exhale, feel that twist. You have your last breath, deep breath in. And then exhale, send that hand back down. We're going to step both feet back, high plank. 
As we exhale, we lower through Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, Down Dog. Let's take that through on the other leg. Inhale, left leg stepping in between the hands. Back foot comes in a few feet. Back foot facing the front corner of the mat. And we find our pyramid stance. So in pyramid, of course, we're opening up through the hamstrings. If you need to come higher up, you do that. So from here, we're going to take a twist. Now this makes it really difficult on the balance. So if you feel wobbly, know that that's your core working hard. Right hand comes to you outside of left foot. Maybe you're taking it to the calf. And then we send that left arm high. As we exhale, we sweep the arm down. And as we inhale, we lift high, gaze at thumb. Exhale, take the hand low. <laughs> and inhale, reach up. Let's take one more of these. I'm wobbly too, I'm with you. Reach that arm up, gaze at thumb and hold. Three breaths. Last breath together here, inhale. Exhale, release that hand back down. We're going to step both feet back, high plank. Lower in a flat line, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Open the heart. Exhale, toes tuck, down dog, we lift. Holding here for three deep breaths. Option, child's pose. Finding your breathing, we're going to add on to that sequence. Last breath here. On your inhale, stepping right foot in between the hands, back foot pitches in a few feet. Coming to revolved triangle, left hand to outside of right foot or shin. And then inhale, reach that arm up. As you exhale, bring that hand back down. Step your back foot back further. Clasp hands behind head, come up, low lunge. As we take the inhale, we straighten front leg. And then as we exhale, we bend and we twist towards front knee. Hello. <laughs> as we inhale, we lengthen and straighten. As we exhale, bend and twist. Let's take one more. Inhale, lift and straighten. Exhale, bend and twist. Take the arms wide. One arm reaching forward, one arm reaching back. Sink the pelvis low, gaze at the back hand if you can. Hold it three. Revealing back arm forwards, we come into our high plank, stepping the foot back. As we exhale, we flow through Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra. Exhale, Down Dog. Stepping your left foot in between your hands, back foot steps in. We find revolved triangle. Right hand coming to outside of the left foot or shin. Inhale, send left arm high, gaze at thumb. Exhale, place that hand back down. Back foot goes back further. We find our low lunge, hands clasp behind heads. Inhale, come up. Exhale, sink lower. Inhale, straighten front knee. And then as we exhale, bend the knee and twist over the front leg. And again, inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, we bend and twist. Use your abdominals to send you round. Last time, deep breath. And then exhale, twist. From here, we open the arms. One arm reaching forward, one arm reaching back, trying to twist your body round. Gaze at back thumb. Holding for three breaths, drop the shoulders down.
Keep that twist, last breath. Then windmill, back arm comes forward and down. We step back, high plank. As we exhale, lower, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Step the feet in, take a moment. We take three breaths here. Now we should be warm now. <laughs> we should be nice and warm. Adding on to this sequence now, we begin to take a deep breath in. Right foot steps in between the hands. Back foot comes in slightly. Left hand goes outside of right foot. We reach up through the right hand. Inhale, exhale, send that hand back down. Coming to your low lunge, hands behind the head. Inhale, we come up. Exhale, we twist. Inhale, we open arms. Exhale, hands come through to prayer. We're gonna twist and we're gonna lean over so the outside of your elbow is wedged on the outside of your front knee. Gaze up. Three breaths. Last breath together here, you're nearly there. As you exhale, bring the hands back down to the floor, step front foot back, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. On your in breath, same sequence, other side. Left foot steps forward, back foot steps in. We come into revolve triangle, inhale. As we exhale, come back down. Step your back foot back further, hands behind the head. Inhale, exhale, we twist. Inhale, arms go wide. Exhale, hands to prayer. We send the body over, outside of the elbow, wedged on the outside of the knee. Gaze up, three breaths. Extending out through that back heel. Last breath together here. And then bring those hands back through. We step back high plank. We only have one more flow through of this sequence. We add on one last bit. Exhale, down dog. Holding three deep breaths. If you know you need a rest, you can come to child's pose. Take a moment. We're not here long though. <laughs> On your in-breath, right foot steps in between the hands, back foot comes in, inhale, revolve to triangle, exhale, hand comes down, back foot steps back further, hands behind head, inhale, up, exhale, we twist, inhale, arms wide, exhale, hands to prayer, we twist over, from here, challenge, can you bring back foot? to front foot, revolve the chair. Amazing, holding here for me. Three breaths. Sink the hips low, weight in the heels. Last breath together here. And we're gonna come all the way up on the inhale to standing. Woo, you made it. <laughs> Right foot is going to lift up. So we're coming into a revolved balance. So lifting that right knee up, we're taking left hand to outside of shin, and then we're gonna send the right arm behind you. Your options to stay here, your options to find your hand to your foot, your hasta to your pandas. Extending through that heel as much as you can, or we keep it bent. Inhale, lengthen the spine, exhale, twist. Can you gaze at that back hand? <laughs> or do you wobble like me? Two breaths. Last one. And then releasing that leg, leave it lifted, send it right back, come to high plank. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, up. Exhale, down dog. 
On your inhale, last flow through. Left foot steps in between the hands. Back foot steps in slightly. On your inhale, we find our revolved triangle. Exhale, hand comes down. Send that back foot back further. Hands laced behind the head. Inhale, lift everything. Exhale, drop and twist. Inhale, lengthen the arms wide. Hands through to prayer. Revolve, low lunge. From here, take an energizing breath. Step back foot in to your front foot. One smooth movement. <laughs> How do we do? Sit the weight back on the heels. You have just three breaths here. Last breath. As you inhale, push into the feet, come to standing, and we lift up through that left leg. Lifting, we take right hand to outside of left shin, left hand reaches backward, revolved twist. From here, you have an option of staying. You have the option, hand to foot, an extension through that left leg. Feel that twist in your mid-centre, we breathe for three. Can you gaze that back hand? Pick a, uh, pick a spot and focus. Last breath. And then bending that leg, release. We're going to come all the way down to the floor, step back, high plank, exhale, we lower, inhale, cobra, exhale, down dog. From here, bring your knees down to the floor, hips go back, and rest. Child's pose. Begin to slow your breathing down, finding your breath. I hope you're all as hot as me right now. <laughs> and then begin to activate your body, coming onto your hands. We're going to shoot the legs back, we're going to come into plank and come into our down dog. So we're going to take a core sequence. I'm going to start through with the right leg. So when we brought the knee to opposite elbow in our warm up, we're going to do that now from down dog. If you prefer to stick with the kneeling option, you can. So send your right leg up into the air, bend the knee, flex the foot, and open the hip. So we've twisted and opened through side body. Take a deep breath in here, and then as we exhale, right knee travels to left elbow, twist. Inhale, return back to three-legged open dog. As we exhale, we twist. Last one. Inhale, open. Send you back and up. And then exhale, twist. From here, coming into the side star, we place that foot down and across and we come up into an open variation of side plank, extended star. Get into that top hand, take up space, inhale, exhale, hand comes down, we return, three legged dog. We take that three more times, so breathe into that extension. Exhale, belly pulls in and we twist. Inhale, opening up and back. Exhale, twist. Last one, inhale, open. And exhale, twist across. From here, step that foot down into a low lunge and open up to a wide-legged forward fold. Inhale, sending your heart long and lengthening. Exhale, folding forwards. So we're nice and warm now. So now's the time to really open up into our forward folds. And we're going to do this with a twist. So we're going to walk the hands over to left foot. 
and you're going to reach for either left foot with the right hand or left calf with the right hand. So we're twisting all the way across to the side. Left arm is going to swoop up and open back. Again, gazing at the finger, really feeling that twist into the center. We breathe for three. Last breath together here. And then releasing that hand back down. This time we're going to see if we can walk the hands through. So we're walking the hands behind the heels and we're really extending through the hamstrings, pulling ourselves through, drawing ourselves towards the floor. If you need to soften the knees here, you can. And then walking your hands back through. We walk back round to our right legged low lunge and we step into our high plank and flow through chaturanga. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Holding your down dog just for a moment for me. We repeat that same sequence on the left side. So left leg extends up, three legged dog. Bend the knee, flex the foot, open the hip. Option to do this from kneeling. Take a deep breath in. As we exhale, left knee, right elbow. Inhale, extending up and back. Exhale, twisting across. Let's take one more. Opening up and back. And then extending through. Placing that foot down. We extend up through side body, extended star, inhale, gaze that top hand, pull in with belly. Hand comes back down to the floor, we swivel, three-legged dog, open the hip, inhale. As we exhale, knee comes across to the elbow. Let's take two more, you can do it, open. And exhale, coming across. Last one of these, inhale, open back. Exhale, twist. Place that foot down, low lunge. Walking hands out, wide leg forward fold. Inhale, lengthen the chest. Exhale, fold forwards and down, holding here. Dropping the weight of the head. How are we doing, are we okay? Stay in there for me. We're going to walk the hands over to the right foot. And so the left hand reaching right foot or right calf. Either way, we're twisting to that side. And then the right arm is opening up and back. Sealing the lips off. We take three breaths here. Inhale. Exhale. Slowing your breathing down. And then bringing that hand back through to centre. This time we take hold of our peace fingers behind our big toes, taking hold of that yogi grip. And then inhale, send your heart forwards and long. And then as you exhale, just drawing the crown of the head down towards the earth, elbows sending wide. We hold this wide-legged forward fold. Really drawing the head down, tucking the chin in. Last breath together here. And then inhale, sending the heart long. 
walking around to your low lunge position, stepping that foot back. We have one last chaturanga to finish. Pitch the weight forward, lower. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, down dog. Dropping those heels down to the floor. We're going to send the knees wide and sit back in your child's pose. And breathe. So just allow your body to come back through to a state of rest. Now we're finished with the dynamic part of the flow. You've made it this far. See if you can now deepen your inhale and deepen your exhale. Starting to walk your hands back towards your body. We're going to come onto our sit bones. Woo, well done for making it. <laughs> we're going to open the legs up wide. So we're going to come into a wide leg forward fold. And I want you to come into a position where you start to feel it on your inner thighs. Flexing out through the heels, toes turning upwards, send the hands forward to the body. Inhale, lift the heart centre forwards, and then as you exhale, just start to walk your hands out. Now it's fine if you don't get very far, if you're more like up here in this position, stay here and breathe. Maybe you can draw the forearms down to the floor. Working with the breathing here, inhale to lengthen the spine and exhale to release into the hips. We'll hold for three deep breaths before we start to move. We're really centering the mind on you and your practice. And then lift up onto your hands now and start to walk your hands over to your left foot. So walking over to the left, we're twisted over this side. We're going to take a deep breath in and send the heart long. And then as we exhale, just walking the hands out towards that leg. Once again, it's very normal to be kind of up here in this position. So just working with your range. What we're really trying to do is twist the body so you have one shoulder either side of the knee. From here, we're going to work with that twist. We inhale to lengthen the spine. And then as we exhale, just pull that left shoulder back, twisting over that front leg. Two more breaths here, inhale. Exhale, feel the twist. Last time, deep breath. And exhale. Walking those hands back through to centre, we take them all the way over, through to the other leg. One hand coming either side, we walk the hands out long. Know your range, know your limits. You can come up higher, that's fine. One shoulder either side of the knee. Really twisting from the rib cage upwards over that leg. Let's work through with this twist. We inhale to lengthen the spine. And then we exhale, feel the twist. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Last breath. Exhale, twisting and then releasing, walking those hands back through to center. Just check out and feel how this forward fold feels. Now we're taking those twists, maybe taking a little bit of a shift with the pelvis. Leg from the spine, inhale, and as you exhale, start to walk your hands slowly back to the hips. Taking the legs in together, we're going to come all the way down onto our backs and work through a little bit of twists with our backs on the floor. So just draw the knees into the body to begin with, gentle massage, gentle rock side to side. We're going to take the knees up to a tabletop position, arms out at 45. Take a deep breath in and let the knees travel over to the right. And then as we exhale, 
use your belly to draw the back to centre. Let's move over to the left side, inhale, and then as we exhale, belly pulls in, legs return. You can make this harder by taking the arms clasped behind the head. But what we're looking for is keeping the shoulders attached to the floor and keeping no movement from the rib cage up. So if you start to lift and kind of rock with your legs, then we've kind of lost the point. <laughs> Those of you that have got a core of steel might be taking a straightening to the legs. But again, if that means that your shoulder lifts, I'd say come back down through to bent legs. So I'm doing it with bent legs because I can't keep my legs straight and my shoulders on the floor. The key here is really using the core to draw your legs back through to centre. So don't use your legs. Use your belly to draw you back. Squeeze, you'll really feel it. Let's take one more to the left side, just to equal out our sides. And then from there, we're going to hug the knees, squeeze them into the body. Gentle massage, side to side. And once again, we'll interlace the arms overhead if our shoulders are happy to do so. And we'll drop the knees to the right side. Gaze to the left. Just allow your abdominals to switch off now. No extra squeezing, no engaging, just allowing them to soften. And using your breath to help you. And bringing the legs back through to centre and we allow the knees to drop over to the left side, head to the right. Slowing your breathing down now. And then nice and slowly we bring the legs back through to centre. And we extend the legs long, the arms wide by the sides of the body. Take a deep breath in through the nose, exhale through the mouth and sigh. Closing the lips off now, back to that nasal breathing. We rest just for a few moments here in Shavasana. The pose that allows all of our previous poses to digest into body and mind. It's in this resting pose that you allow the repair and the recovery to occur within the body. So closing off the eyes and allowing yourself this time. Giving in to the weight of the body down into the mat. And allowing yourself to breathe naturally for you. to deepen and energize through your breathing, starting to activate fingers and toes, maybe stretching arms up and overhead to lengthen and reset and recharge the body. Slowly rolling over onto your right side and pushing yourself up into a seated position with me. 
hands come through to prayer. We just take a time to be thankful for our practice this morning, thankful for our bodies allowing us such a challenging practice. Be proud of yourselves, be proud of your bodies. Have blessings of health and happiness on Shanti Namaste. Namaste to you all yogis, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you have a lovely weekend and I hope you enjoy some outside time. <laughs>